Hey guys, I'm Ryan and this is Nick and we just saw Halloween. Yeah, the 2018 reboot, would you call it? Well, I'd say it is the Halloween we deserve in 2018. <laughs> it's the Batman Begins of Halloween films. This is the horror sequel you have to see this year. But stay tuned, you're about to find out what we thought of Halloween and why we are excited for this trick and treat. <laughs> So before we get into things, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you feel up to it, hit the like button too. Let's get into it. Halloween, what's it all about? Well, Halloween is a re-re-reboot of the <laughs> franchise. So look, Jason Blum, John Carpenter, Green, they've got together and they've given us a whole new chapter. Laurie Strode, it's been 40 years since the original Halloween. It's actually the 40th anniversary this year. and. Strode is dealing with the trauma of the past. The Myers has been dormant for years. He's been in an insane asylum, but he's about to get triggered and we're about to go on a murder spree unlike any other. Ryan, how did you feel every second? You do plot deaths like the best way possible. I'm excited even though I've seen it. I'm yeah. excited about that. Uh, look, I didn't know what to think about this movie going in. You've got people like Danny McBride producing it. David Gordon Green's known for comedies, I feel like. Uh, and then we've got this um, horror film. You've got uh, Jason Blum behind it producing, which is always a good sign. Because, I mean, out of all the 30 films or so he's produced, I reckon it's a good 20 or so have actually been pretty good. Yeah. Um, so there's got good things, got good bad, bad things going into it. But uh, the second the movie starts, from the get-go, you are in. Just straight from the uh, John Carpenter theme, launching oh. you into the movie. Yeah, it, what's chilling at the beginning is you see the pumpkin rebuilding itself. It's almost like the franchise yeah. is saying, we're back, we're rebuilding what we've done. And every moment oozes tension. Um, shout out to uh, John Carpenter and his son Cody Carpenter um, for this awesome soundtrack because one of the things that stands out for this movie, along with a great performance by Jamie Lee Curtis and Greer and others, is the incredible music. Every moment your ears pick up just as your eyes do. And that story becomes intertwined. And just when you jump, that music kicks in, you know something's about to go down. Yeah, yeah. They used it so well, I think, too. There were moments where you thought uh, something was gonna happen and it didn't happen. Uh, they switched it at times and used it on different characters, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, and what you were saying before with uh, the way they were showing the pumpkin rebooting itself, they had a lot of moments like that in the movie where they said, almost a fuck you to the sequels that came after it. Uh, they made comments about Laurie being uh, Michael Myers' sister, uh, the sequels that came after it, the new, um, uh, the Doctor, whatever his original name was. You're the new Lo yeah. Loomis. Loomis, that's yeah. right, the new Loomis. And uh, yeah, stuff like that, which I thought was quite, kind of fun and an interesting way to reboot a film. Yeah, and what's interesting is even though it is definitely return of the original slasher genre to its prominence, it still has humor and it still has drama. It walks that fine line in there. And the thing about it is, it's a story of trauma. It's a story of the final girls. It's a celebration of horror and it's a return to quality for a franchise that has needed this for so long. Yeah, it's the slasher genre, I think, has need a resurgence for quite a while. I remember that Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake, tried to do it. And then the Friday the 13th remake and tried to do it. And they all kind of failed. This does it very successfully, I feel like. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, <laughs> try, try again. Yeah. And God damn, is it a happy Halloween? Because I've got to say, um, from the, even when it does end, you want more of it. And 100%. Yeah, it's, Blum has signaled this isn't the last we'll see of Halloween, hopefully. And I truly hope it isn't. Because I feel that we have just began to scratch the surface, the surface of the potential of the Halloween franchise again. Something that I feel like reboots do uh, quite well is the first film when they reboot it, but then it's the sequel that kind of throws it back into that realm of shitty sequels again. So look, I'm hoping that this next film, if it does happen, we've gotten hints from Jason Blum, if it does happen, I really hope that they stick to this formula that they've built with this film and don't just throw Michael Myers into another, you know, college, oh, I gotta stabby stabby some babysitters again. We've built a, a storyline, a backstory for these characters. Let's continue that. In an era of huge budgets, massive blockbusters, Halloween's the film, you've got to get into cinemas, take someone who hasn't seen the original. In fact, if you haven't seen the original, all the better, because 
to be introduced this way might very well make you a fan of the franchise. Hundred percent. 100%. But look, if you, if you had the chance, I recommend watching the first one before you see this film. There is a lot of callbacks, and you will get a nice little nudge in the neck when things happen in the movie, and you will get it. And you'll be one of those people in the audience. Don't mention the neck. Some of the stuff done tonight was just... This, the, one of my favorite things about this movie is that it is absolutely gut-wrenchingly brutal. Oh, there dude. are so many great deaths that this is going to line up people are going to make this the line where people need to cross and do better after this film comes out. So look, if you want B, our oodle horror. <laughs> if you want some fun, if you want an entertaining film that walks the line between multiple genres, catch Halloween on the 25th of October. I'm Ryan. I'm Nick. And this has been Movie Nerds, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you've seen Halloween or have seen our horror movie that we should check out, comment below, let us know. And until next time, we'll catch you nerds at the movie.